Esta es una acción de protesto contra la cuestión de lo tratado transatlántico. Lo que se está tratando aquí es de transferir la regulación de lo comercio de las manos de, de los estados para las manos de las multinacionales, reforzando aquella que ya es la dictadura de estas multinacionales, nomeadamente de las multinacionales de lo agronegocio. Just over there, at the end of this road, Juan Prince Schumann, you have the European Commission, the European Council. These are the institutions responsible for lawmaking in Europe. There's more than, I think, around 500 individual corporations having offices here. You are devant the European Bureau de l'industrie agroalimentaire, dont le nom est Food Drink Europe. Si vous regardez leurs comptes légaux, ceux qui sont déposés au moniteur, ils avaient un budget de environ 2 millions et demi d'euros pour 21 employés. When you look at the composition of this board, uh, on 17 members, 12 represent multinational companies. It's not about the US versus the EU, it's about multinationals versus everybody else. Thank you very much. BASF is uh, the biggest chemical corporation in the world. In 2014, they had uh, a turnover of around 74 billion. Historically, uh, BASF has had a, a huge impact on the EU chemical legislation called REACH. REACH demands that the EU takes action on chemicals that disrupt the human hormone system, so-called endocrine disrupting chemicals, EDCs. With uh, TTIP, it would get much easier to get uh, agricultural exports from the US um, imported into the EU with higher levels of these chemicals that are not allowed in the EU. Several years ago, the feed industry and their lobby organization in Brussels created a coalition with other food lobby groups like Food and Tech Europe, like like the Miller organization, like the oil trader, uh, I mean, feed trade oil, oil organization, the protein crops. And they made, they created a rumor that the farming sector would starve if we would not allow that feed would be contaminated with genetically modified crops which are not authorized to be used in Europe. Lobby groups are using the TTIP negotiations to come up with demands how they want to bypass, undermine, get rid of key European legislation. This is the US Chamber of Commerce. It's by far the biggest industry lobby group um, in uh, the US. Uh, they outnumber uh, in, in lobbying spending the number two by three times, they have multi-million uh, dollar budgets, which usually uh, in the majority comes uh, from the biggest corporations, including uh, Dow Chemical, uh, Monsanto, uh, etc. Citizens have very little say compared to the lobbyists, to the corporations, and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce represents them all. GM is one of the big things that will affect you if TTIP is passed. It will affect us. It will hurt our farmers and it will also hurt yours. So at all costs, we must avoid TTIP passing. We must think of the safety of our children, of our grandchildren, of our environment, and of the people that are currently here. We're in front of DG Trade. So those are the people that are leading the EU trade negotiations. In the TTIP talks, they are those people that negotiate. The agri-food sector has been the one that's been lobbying, uh, lobbying the most for TTIP. And in there we have CEFIC, so chemicals, Freshfield, Ecole, Food and Drink Europe. Once the deal is signed, you now have processes, institutions that make sure that trade is the most important thing. And that public health, environment, you name it, this is not their priority. El tratado va a destruir la explotación familiar, va a destruir la pequeña y mediana explotación. Se cargan el principio de precaución, se cargan las normativas de calidad, las denominaciones de origen, que nosotros creemos 
en acuerdos comerciales desde la cooperación, desde la transparencia, desde la construcción democrática, desde la participación ciudadana hacia un modelo sostenible y agroecológico que priorice las producciones locales, que ponga adelante los derechos humanos, los derechos de los campesinos y campesinas delante de los estafadores, de los lobbies, ¿eh? de los que hoy están construyendo esas políticas.